Hello there, my fellow mech pilots, and welcome to another lore video focusing on Imperial Knight types. Today we are gonna be talking about a more advanced set of knight types, or armors if you wanna call them that, than I described previously. They are known as Serastus Knights, and today we will talk in more detail about four of their classes. I am your host, the Grim Dark Narrator, and without further ado, let us learn more, shall we? The Serastus Knight Castigator This is a favored knight pattern by those households who are often faced with an overwhelming number of the enemy. Armed with the fearsome Castigator pattern Bolt Cannon, the Serastus Knight Castigator is capable of annihilating enemy infantry formations and light vehicles alike. This is achieved with its twin-length main weapon in a hail of gunfire, or carving apart enemy armor with its formidable power weapon called a Tempest Warblade. Notably among their ilk, the Castigator is also renowned for the stoic nature of their machine spirits within whose vigor is difficult to rouse, but almost impossible to ignore. Castigator Mark armors are often claimed by a household's most venerable scions, the warriors of proven metal who can be relied upon to hold the line, conserving their limited stock of ammunition and supporting their more vainglorious kin, often forming the core of any household's arbaluster order. Some younger scions are also drawn to the Castigator, glorying in the armor's deafening firepower and elegant warblade strikes, though such scions rarely deign to act as mere support units. The Castigator Bolt Cannon is only found on the Serastus Knight Castigator. It features two bolt cannons twin-linked together and is capable of annihilating infantry formations and light vehicles in a thunderous hailstorm of mass reactive shells. The ammunition for the weapon is stored on the knight's back in an armored container, with an armored feed line supplying it to the cannons. The Tempest Warblade used by the Castigator is a massive power weapon, many times the height of a man that is used by the knight to scythe down large infantry formations, pierce the armored skin of enemy vehicles, or to engage enemy knights or titans in melee combat. The Serastus Knight Lancer The Lancer is one of the more uncommon patterns of Imperial Knight class combat walker, but also the most highly valued pattern fielded by the knight houses. The Serastus Knight Lancer is a first strike weapon, attuned to rapid close combat assault tactics and making lethal flanking charges against the foe. It is justly renowned for its speed and power, as well as the temperamental and restive nature of its machine spirits, which dwell as anima within its colossal frame. Because of this reputation, the most impetuous and glory-hungry scions of the Knight Houses are driven to bond with these war machines, their own souls a match for the fury caged within their mounts. The greatest of these pairings will go on to create martial legends among their lineage, while for those whose temper cannot fully master that of their Knight Engine, or those whose lust for glory might see valor outweigh caution on the battlefield, their triumphs are likely to blaze brightly, if briefly, in the chronicles of their house. The Serastus Knight Lancer is held in high esteem by the more impetuous of a house's scions. Its potent ion gauntlet shield and Serastus shock lance perfectly suited for battling the foe face to face where only a perfectly timed thrust of the lance can stand between a noble and death. In particular, those scions who favor the Ulan traditions favor the speed and ferocity of the lancer, and when rival knight houses meet in combat, these warriors race ahead of the household to clash in single combat with the enemy champions. The shock lance is a massive power weapon used only by the Serastus lancers. It is mounted on the knight's weapon arm, and functions similarly to a power spear, although one of prodigious size. The weapon uses a magneto-hydraulic-powered rail system to move the lance backwards and thrust it forwards to attack. 
The shock lance is used in conjunction with the lancer's ion gauntlet shield, which protects the knight from attacks as it closes in with the enemy to deliver a killing blow. The weapon's disruption field is capable of being projected as a powerful electromagnetic plasma blast over a short distance, allowing a knight to attack an opponent that may be too dangerous to assault in melee. The Ion Shield Gauntlet is once again found only on the Serastus Knight Lancer. It works similarly to the more common Ion Shields found on other knight armors, but instead of being projected from the knight's torso in the direction of the enemy fire, the Ion Gauntlet Shield is generated inside of a massive shield-shaped projector, equipped to the Knight Lancer's gauntlet assembly. This defensive energy shield is many times more concentrated than a standard ion shield, though it lacks the latter's tactical flexibility. It is used very well in conjunction with the Serastus Knight's shock lance. The Serastus Knight Acheron, or if it's Asheron, do feel free to correct me. A Serastus Knight Acheron is an Imperial Knight pattern utilized exclusively for terror and shock assaults. The devastation wrought by Knight Acheron is terrifying to behold. Armed with a fearsome Reaper Chain Fist, twin-linked heavy bolters, and an Acheron pattern flame cannon, they are employed as weapons of extermination and to inspire fear in the enemy. Nothing will sway their attack until the enemy is utterly crushed, never to rise again from the flame-scoured ruins of their fortresses. The Serastus Knight Acheron is a fearsome sight on the battlefield, a reaper of lives carefully designed not only to destroy, but to inspire terror both in appearance and the manner in which it undertakes its grim task. The presence of an Acheron Mark armor in the battle lines of a household warns the foe to expect no mercy, for such weapons are only deployed for missions of purging, to topple the works of the enemy and scour clean his lands with flame. Scions rarely choose to ride into battle in Acheron armors voluntarily, accepting the task instead as an arduous duty to be undertaken for the good of the house. This is done because the anima of these armors is often awash in the inherited memories of massacres and slaughters uncounted. Those few scions who prefer such grim mounts are either warriors of iron will, capable of suppressing the sinister whispers of the armor's machine spirit, or tortured souls who relish the armor's malicious impulses and the carnage it wreaks upon the battlefield. The Acheron Pattern Flame Cannon, or simply the Acheron Flame Cannon, is used exclusively by the Serastus Knight Acheron. Usually carried on the knight's left weapon arm, it contains two flamer units, each fueled by a large Promethium tank on the knight's back and connected to the weapon by an armored fuel line. The Serastus Knight Atropos one of the rarest and most potent Imperial Knight patterns, the Serastus Knight Atropos is a unique variant of the standard Serastus pattern. Being particularly rare and potent weapons of annihilation, the Serastus Knight Atropos was created solely to destroy heretic engines and Xeno's war machines, whose very nature and existence is considered blasphemy to the Omnissiah. The machine spirits of the Knight Atropos are said to carry with them a cold and all-destroying hunger, and for the noble scions who bond with them, madness is a constant risk. But for such storied honor, however dark the outcome, this may be a price worth paying. The Serastus Knight Atropos carries arcane and devastating weapons into battle. The focused and deadly Atropos Last Cutter, that sees duty as both a ranged and close combat weapon, and a violently destructive but potentially unstable Graviton Singularity Cannon. With the speed and shielding of the Serastus chassis, and the Knight Atropos's macro extinction targeting protocols, the Serastus Knight Atropos is an uncommonly destructive weapon of war. The Graviton Singularity Cannon creates a space-time singularity that tears its target and the surrounding area apart with extreme gravimetric forces. 
The weapon is very effective against any target that is trapped within the singularity. However, it is especially effective against vehicles, the more massive the better. The Graviton Singularity Cannon is violently destructive, but potentially unstable and hazardous to its user. This is so because every time it is fired, there is a risk of the Singularity collapsing, resulting in the outright destruction of the knight wielding it. The Atropos Last Cutter is the other weapon unique to the Atropos. It is a massively upscaled version of a standard last cutter that is used both as an industrial tool and as a close-range support weapon during void boarding actions and siege warfare. Last cutters work by using a disruption field-assisted short-range laser arc to cut through a target's dense molecular structure. The Atropos last cutter takes the function of a last cutter to the extreme, resulting in the weapon able to cut through the hulls of enemy battle tanks with aids. The Atropos can even use its last cutter to destroy enemy knights, and can even pose a threat to battle titans if at close range. The last cutter can be used as a melee weapon, or can also fire a longer range directed energy attack, though the range of this remains very limited. And that, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you about the Serastus Knights for today. I do apologize if this episode is a bit on the short side, but it seems there wasn't that much lore to go on for these Serastus patterns. Are any of these four variants among your favorites? Do you have them in your army, or would you like them in your army? Let us know and discuss in the comments below. Was this video informative or entertaining? In that case, please click the like button and subscribe for more videos. And if you'd like to help me keep the channel alive, please go check my Patreon page, the link for which is in the video description. Thank you very much for watching, and I wish you all a great day. The Emperor Protects.